नाउ चैप्टर नंबर टेन मिकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड विच टाइप ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस आर नोन एज फ्लूड्स सो द सब्सटेंस विच कैन फ्लो दैट इज कॉल्ड फ्लूड सो इन दिस सेंस वी कैन से द लिक्विड एंड गैसेस can be considered as fluid okay now fluids means liquid and gases they don't have specific shape the shape of the fluid that is the shape of the container in which it is filled but in fluids if we consider about liquid then liquid have specific volume and volume of the gas that is the volume of the container in which it is filled because gas will acquire the entire space in the container okay but solids have specific volume as well as shape also okay these fluids don't have specific shape okay now see to study the mechanical properties of fluids we have to discuss here two very important physical quantities pressure and density pressure and density so here we will discuss fluid statics and fluid dynamics in fluid statics we will discuss this thing when the fluid is stationary at that time its characteristics and effects and then after in fluid dynamics we will discuss the motion of the fluid and its effects and characteristics okay now first very important physical quantity pressure pressure is defined as the force per unit area of the surface that is called pressure at that particular surface so simply we can write pressure that is force upon area now here when we consider the force acting on the surface at that time we consider the force acting normal to the surface normal to the surface okay so here pressure that we can write force upon area so pressure p that is f by a where a that is the area of the surface on which the force is acting normal to it unit of force that is newton of area that is meter square so unit of pressure that is newton per meter square it is also called pascal it is also called pascal now we can prepare the dimensional formula of pressure see for force the dimensional formula is m1 l1 t minus 2 upon for area that is l2 so resultantly we can write m1 l minus 1 t minus 2 that is the dimensional formula of pressure so this one is the definition of pressure and its unit and dimensional formula clear to all of you any now here with the help of this simple device one can measure the pressure of the liquid at any point okay now suppose this one is the container in which the liquid is filled and we want to find the pressure at this particular point now see we can use this particular device shown in the figure now see here in this particular device this one is the evacuated chamber and this one is movable piston okay this is air tight one and a spring is attached 
with the movable piston and the bottom of the container. Now, the point where you want to find the pressure, there you have to place this particular instrument. Now, suppose this movable piston is placed at this particular level. Okay. So now, the liquid above the piston will exert some force on the piston because above the piston, whatever is the liquid column is there, it has some mass. So its weight will exert some force in downward direction on the piston. Now, this particular piston will move and the spring will be compressed. So here we have to just measure the compression of the spring. So with the help of the compression of the spring, one can calculate the force F equal to Kx. Now, we have the area of the piston. So now, by taking the ratio of force to area, one can calculate the pressure. Okay. Now, there is one another unit of pressure which we use frequently, that is atmospheric pressure and we write it as ATM. One atmospheric pressure, that is 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 Pascal or 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square. One ATM pressure means the pressure exerted by atmosphere at sea level. One ATM or one atmospheric pressure means the pressure exerted by atmosphere at sea level. Okay, so this one is the pressure. 